Now that we've managed to create our simple WordPress plugin, which does nothing by the way, let's make something happen. Let's see if it actually works. So to do that, we need to address a couple of things before we make any functionality happen. We need to think about security. Now, whether you've used WordPress for a very long time or you're a newbie with WordPress, you've probably heard uh, that WordPress can be uh, a potential hacking target. And it's purely because the developers of plugins don't ensure the proper protections to circumvent any hackers trying to get into the website. Uh, a lot of WordPress websites are being compromised each day because of this. Now, there are some basic things that we can do to make sure that your plugin is not accessible or scripts can't be accessed by people who are trying to cause problems for your website. So to do that, I'm going to give you an example. So we've created this plugin, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to type in just echo hello. Okay, now you would think that someone could not access this unless they were you, you activated the plugin, right? Well, that's wrong because if we go and we just copy the address of the website and then we do simple contact form, which is the address of our plugin. Sorry, no, it's WP content plugins, simple contact form. And then we try and access this PHP file. So simple contact form.php. You'll see that this can be accessed and that's wrong. That should not happen because once we actually start coding out our plugin, we're going to have logic in there that can be instantiated when someone runs the specific class. So to stop people from being able to access it through the website address, we need to ensure that it is not being accessed by, uh, well, it is being accessed by the absolute path. To do that, at the start of our WordPress plugin, we do an if statement. And inside that if statement, we want to say, if the absolute path or abs path, if the, if the absolute path is not being used to access this plugin, then we just want to exit the query or the function. So let's go and have a look at this now. Let's refresh it and you should see it's blank. I could put something like, what are you trying to do? Refresh it and you'll see that now this can't be accessed through the web address or through the, the through typing it into your web browser. It needs to specifically be accessed through the application itself. 